Hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Selfish Stream. Today we are playing some super amazing wagon adventure turbo. Some super amazing wagon. And we are having some echo because things are weird. That's fine. <laughs> I think that shouldn't happen anymore. <clears throat> Get my setup wrangled here. Okay. So, let us start our adventure. Let's go adventure, everyone. Apparently, I already had some things set up. I'm gonna stick with that for right now. Uh, we'll keep standard. <laughs> Check marks, oh boy. Day one, they set off into the forest. Okay. <clears throat> Animals, clearing ahead. Oh. Already lost one. See if bandits interrupted the hunt. Some of this I've gotten to what I think is probably somewhere around half. But it has been a good couple of minutes since I last touched this game. controls. Okay, cave. Dark cave. Giant bats. Okay. Run back to the wagon, reach the river crossing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's clearly my own idea, so who am I to deny myself the opportunity to fly into space? Not literally in this case. Oh good, bees. And I'm dead. Trusty wagon, the standard. <clears throat> Welcome, viewer. Posse of bandits interrupted the hunt, and then some lag interrupted really very badly. But then everything was fine. And of course we will be trying to get the, uh, the horse carcasses if at all possible. Uh, 
don't know. So I've seen a few outcomes for this, um, but I also haven't really played the Turbo Edition, so there might be more stuff that I don't know about. In fact, there's almost certainly more stuff I don't know about. Even in the first that I have played. <laughs> Jason left the wagon and found some edible shrooms. Oh boy. I know how this ends. He felt funny when he ate the mushrooms. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Jason battled his inner demons. Sure are a lot of you guys. Oh gosh. Oh, why with the lag? Whew! Painful memories bounced around in his head. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's lagging so badly, and I don't know why. Everything else is running fine. Why is only this lagging? Oh, no. Oh, no. He is going to die. Oh. He was consumed by a memory of being rejected by his first crush. And everyone else carried on without him. It reached a river crossing. I was hoping I was going to get the, the wagon that you get from that event. Obviously, we will jump. Obviously, we will jump. They landed near a den of bears, and the large thud woke them. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, man. They take so many hits! They entered into the Great Plains. They came across a large herd of buffalo. I actually don't want the pew pew laser gun because that will destroy the carcasses which I am trying to collect. Because I'm stupid and think that I'm going to get out of this alive. Oh no. That on the other hand will be extremely helpful. Trader. Oh, superb. We got 59. Okay. <clears throat> we will be healing. Distant gunshots. Pew, 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 pew. Someone might need their help. Let's go investigate. It's a bank being robbed by bandits. Okay. I had to carefully shoot the armed van. Oh no. I've got a shotgun. This is not ideal. Yeah. Didn't know this was going to turn into a shooting gallery minigame. Oh wow. A hundred animal hides! Dang! That's a pretty good reward, actually. Maria decided to look for a flower for Oscar. She'd grown fond of Oscar during their travels. Oh, gosh. Hey, look, a flower. And nothing terrible happened, I assume. What? <laughs> to relieve herself, so she left the camp again. Oh my gosh! The buffalo was still angry! Oh my gosh. A pain on the plane, survival mode. I am not super happy about that. We're gonna really hate <laughs> buffalo! <laughs> this one was too deep to ford. So we could swim underwater or go through the desert. And 
and this is around as far as I've been. Uh, let's... They made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. Okay. I have tried both, and both ended in me dying. Oh, the pistol's jammed. I mean, that's okay, because I'm not wielding a pistol, but that's fine. Fur trader? Alright. Ooh. 62 hides. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's good. Venomous snakes. She talked to her spirit animal, the mongoose, then she died. Okay, well. The hungry vultures made things worse. Oh my gosh! Oh! Scorpions are hired. Oh, cool. Oh, crap. They turn around. Oh, man. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no. Oh, a giant scorpion held Oscar in place with his claws and stung him in the eyes, stabbing into his brain. The wagon parts cooked in the hot sand. Dang. All right. Let's take another crack at it. Did I keep any wagons from that? I don't think I did. Nicole, Henry, and George. Trusty wagon. Yeah, no, I did not. Um, that's what you get for completing the, uh, the battling your inner demons stage. Uh, that's what you get for jumping over the river if you go into space and then don't die. Um, that one, I think, is just a random drop on the buffalo section. I've, I've seen it before, but I don't remember how to get it. Uh, I don't think I've ever had this one. I've never seen this one, or this one, or this one. I, I feel like I've seen this one, but I don't remember when. I know I haven't seen that or that. I saw the event that creates this, but then I failed it and didn't get the wagon, so I don't know. Um, uh, but this one you get for killing a unicorn. So obviously right now we're going to be going with the standard, because that's literally all there is. Apologies for the thudding noises. second hit to land. Oh, come on now. The machine gun on the bandit wagon has arrived. left to look for wild berries and found a bunch okay a bear wanted the berries oh boy here we go in its last dying breath the bear let out a cry for help the bear's extended family heard the cry ah! This while I'm here. Hard to bear survival mode. Okay. Okay, Henry ran back to the wagon. They reached a river crossing. 
obviously, again, we will be jumping because I don't want to deal with the forwarding process. Even if this doesn't get what I want, we will still be doing this because it's better than the alternative. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> Let's do the V's now. Which, now that I remember how this works, shouldn't be too difficult. into the Great Plains. The oxen came down with scarlet fever and moved very sluggishly. I hope that doesn't last... Uh-oh. We got... The glitch! The glitches have happened! Just need to make sure that we don't die in this section. Day, day number, scene, scene description. Ah yes, the giant suitcase buffalo things. <coughs> I love this event. Error unhandled exception. Null reference exception. Object reference set. Okay. Pew pew! <laughs> oh yes, now we fight the glitch. Oh no, someone died. Program reset. Yay! The glitch! <laughs> Alright. The oxen recovered from Scarlet Fever on day 28. How nice. They came across a fur trader. Supplies in exchange for animal hides, as normal. Wait, what is that? Is that the duck? I haven't seen that before. Um... We need these more than we need whatever this is. They hear distant gunshots. Let's go help. Because that worked out pretty well the last time. Bank robbery. Hit the armed bandits fleeing the bank without hitting any unarmed bystanders. Oh no. Oh, I think I've already failed the event. One of them got away. Two of them got away. Oh. Drop the pistol on a rock, bending the barrel. <laughs> okay. Henry had grown fond of George during their travels. Okay. Oh, I love you too, George replied. The two went into the wagon to relax. Henry needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. The gun is still janky, which is not great. Ah! The buffalo, we're still angry! Oh, this is gonna be really hard to do with the bet pistol! Oh! Crushed by a bison. Ah, okay. <laughs> George fixed the bend in the pistol. Yeah, nice timing on that, buddy. All right, this time let's go under. Let's 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 do the stupid thing this time. Doing stupid stuff seems to end well in this game. <laughs> Deadly piranhas. jellyfish. Okay. Oh, 
music, the music in this game is quite good. Fighting fish. The giant squid blocked the path. Oh no. That's a lot of shooties. George drowned to death in a blast of squid ink. The party's journey ended there in a mist of blood and squid ink. Alright, let's try out the new wagon. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> Is this actually... oh. Oh, okay. Looks like this weapon destroys things instead of merely killing them and has a variable firing rate. So that's gonna be interesting. damage this deals. One, two, three. Okay, so it's the same as the pistol. A swarm of rabid squirrels heard the cry. Richard ran back to the wagon. They reached a river crossing. Okay. Alley -oop. That space shuttle. Oh, heck yeah! A gust of air pulled them up into low Earth orbit. They passed through a meteor shower. I adore the fact that these are asteroids graphics. It's such a good little attention to detail thing. There's quite a lot of that in this game, just little little things that are that show good attention to detail. Oh man, come on. Did we kill it? No we didn't kill it. Aww. I didn't Oh I did kill it. Oh good. The fast. And zoop, they entered into the Great Plains. Pew, pew, pew. Came across a large herd of Oofaloo. So we cut a path here. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Which is a sentence. The shotgun is pretty much optimal on this event. So I'm glad I found that. Especially two of them. That was extremely good for our animal skin count. The number of buffalo was absurd. Oh good. I mean, you're not wrong, game. Oh crap. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh no! The buffalo smashed into Donna. And she died. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Oh no! It's 
seems like setting up shots is not too impossible with this gun. Fur trader. Okay, we've got 72 furs. Smaller, easier to maneuver wagon. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit on the slow side. Oh, we keep the crazy gun. That's good. I passed through a civil war battle. We're just gonna kill everything. And that will be fine. Surely this will have no impact on history. Do not have a lot of range with this. Okay, well, we don't have that at all anymore. Okay, the water. <laughs> the world was lengthened and there was great loss of life. A strange smell coming from a nearby camp. He decided to investigate. Alright. Oh, good. Zombies. I felt sick. Fortunately, he's already at only one health. An antique pistol. Okay. That noise coming from the tall grass. Alright. A diseased monkey. What? Uh, what? The diseased monkey gave Daniel a hug. A good meal of bear burgers. Oh, thank you. Mercy, mercy. Another river. Okay. Yeah, let's go in. playing Super Amazing Wagon Adventure Turbo, a stupid game which I love very much. I'm not all that good at this, but I'm okay at it, and that's good enough. Um, this is a fresh installation, so we have uh, almost nothing unlocked, except for what we were able to do just in the last little bit. <laughs> and angry narwhals. playing as the glitch, but we did trade in for a smaller and easier to maneuver wagon. And poisonous jellyfish. Oh, good. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, what does... What does this do? A giant squid blocked Richard's path. Oh, wow. That was extremely effective. He felt that there had to be something super amazing inside, but he wasn't sure if he should open it. Oh, come on, open the chest. A revolver. Okay, what does that do? Oh, my. That's a very fast pew pew. A mountain pass. Okay, so I've been this far, I think, exactly once. It's been a long time since I played. A pack of wolves smelled the blood. Richard was eaten by a wolf. The wolves ate the bodies. Okay. Alright, well. <laughs> With that semi failure, we now have at least one new wagon. If nothing else. We've unlocked the fast. And yeah, that's all we got. The fast! No, that's not a space shuttle, why do you ask? I kind of like playing as the glitch, actually. That, that gun is surprisingly useful. A unicorn! 
Ah. Let's follow it. They followed the unicorn into a magical field. It was a unicorn ambush. Oh, crud. Magic has killed one of our guys. Then a dragon attacked them! Ah, okay, here, this is actually what we were hoping for. Michael was immolated. You know, for being fast, this wagon is very large. Come on. Yeah, the fantasy! That's what I was waiting for. A bunch of dirt got in the pistol and jammed it. Oh good. <laughs> oh no, with a jammed pistol. A bear wanted the berries. The bear's extended family heard its cry for help. Oh my gosh! They completely surrounded me. <laughs> Alright. So now we can play as the Fantasy Wagon with James, Jim, and Amanda. Magical. Pew, pew, pew. Pneumonia on day 11. Oh boy. <laughs> the weapon icon is just a rainbow. <laughs> That's so dumb. The uh, downside to this, obviously, is it vaporizes anything it touches. The upshot is that it can shoot behind you. Which not a lot of other guns can. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. But I have a bazooka, so it's fine. A machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. sucks today. Aww. <laughs> I didn't really think that was gonna work, but I, I hoped. Oh wow. One hurt me a little bit. Jim went out to look for wild berries. With the magic wand. A bear wanted the berries. Kinda of slow now that I'm noticing. I mean, I can make do, but. Hmm, good gun for this. You kind of shoot everywhere. Okay. Buffalo chili. I mean, too little, too late, but thanks anyway. River crossing. Alright, we're gonna ford the river because we don't have to do the space jump anymore. We've already done that. I made the probably wise decision to ford the river. Do -do -do. There were boulders in the river. There were a lot of boulders in the river. And I'm actually not very good at this section because I've only done it a few times. Something something boulders. Finally, they reached the other side of the river. They entered into the Great Plains. Oops. Shooting a waste of a shot. A large herd of Oofaloo.
We got bored of all the repetitive buffalo encounters, so they sped up. Oh, crap. I don't like this one. Oh, oh no! Jim is dead. Oh, crap. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Amanda died. The wagon exploded. The end. <laughs> Game over, man. Well, that sucked. <laughs> we did the best with the glitch, actually, so I'm going to stick with that. Set off into the forest. The variable fire rate actually helped quite a bit. Like, a lot more than I would have expected. Posse of bandits. could actually aim. backward. It was very dark inside. Upon lighting a torch, she found it was filled with giant bats! Oh, this is probably not gonna end well. Um... The variable fire rate is not super helpful against the bats. They reached a river crossing. Drink with you. Tally ho! There were boulders in the river. Oh, that's interesting. You can damage the boulders. I mean, I doubt it matters, but. You know, I just. It looks very weird with all of those little bit, pixel bits just laying around. <laughs> like, it, it just kind of ruins the illusion of the water. This is me. Something, something boulders. Oh. I actually don't think I've seen this pattern before. Um. Huh. Alright. New boulder pattern, I guess. They entered into the Great Plains. Please, no buffaloes. Oh, no! Oh, come on. David's dead. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. super helpful here, but it's kind of not helping that much. A fur trader. 53. Okay, well, Robert is going to the Civil War. I 
wonder if these sprites are actually like from elsewhere in the game. Because like some of them I recognize and some of them I don't. <laughs> Kill them all. Every last one of them. Okay, the war was lengthened, etc. Robert tried to use the boop to open a can of beans and accidentally bent the barrel of the boop. The front wheel of the wagon was, uh, wow, that was chipperish. He went to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled into a camp filled with bandits. Oh, good. Second rolled near a coyote den. Can I do I get to keep it? No, I don't get to keep it. Oh no! Oh it's really hard to aim. He fixed the bend in the blue. <laughs> Too deep to ford. We've done well with the fish thing. I think I'll go through the desert, because I haven't seen... I've only seen a couple of the events there. A gambling cowboy. Okay. Robert's animal lies that he couldn't kill 30 quails in 25 seconds. Let's try. but I'm actually not very good at this game. Uh, look, wild fairies. Entrance to a cave. Let's go in. Nothing bad ever happens in dark caves in video games. It was very dark inside. Giant bats. Okay.
Except getting the fast wagons. Like, once you've got that, there's no point to doing it anymore. There were a lot of boulders in the river. Something, something, boulders. through this area so I don't get killed. Oh no. Deer strike is beneficial for clearing a path. But other than that, it's not particularly good for this area. Angry buffalo. some healing packs. All of the recreation while <laughs> the shooting started a prairie fire. Oh boy. Yeah. That was dumb. I really enjoy the fact that every single thing... Some of the buffalo <laughs> caught on fire! Oh no! Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. They're very, very fast. In the distance, they saw a woman in a red dress walking alone. Daniel left the wagon to see if she needed help. Okay. Uh, hello? It was just some random woman. She didn't need any help, but thank Daniel for stopping. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. I really like the, the fact that every single possible cause of death has its own unique text. As well as a text for if that's your, uh... That's your last area. Like that's that's a lot of text strings. Okay, gambling cowboy. Thirty quails, twenty-five seconds. Absolutely, I'll do that. Oh, they're coming from the other side this time. Oh my gosh, I get to keep these? Scorpions were even more deadly. Thank you for that. Oh. Some cultures consider scorpions a delicacy. The giant scorpion, I didn't see what it said. But I think I can guess. Okay, Scott died. Just let me get through this, please. Oh, man. Oh, man. Afraid of running out of water, Daniel traveled faster. No! <laughs> oh no! Oh 
no! Oh, please don't! Just deserts. Survival mode. Okay. Okay. Some kind of pyramid on the side of the trail. Daniel decided to investigate. With my, uh... My airstrike. <laughs> Strange writing on the walls. Okay. Some tall green men! And do the pyramid! Oh god, Josh! The green men chased in a flying saucer! What is happening right now? Staying alive rather than on killing him. Okay, so this gun can't anticipate movement. That's neat. Yeah, the alien. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that event. So that's that's good. <laughs> Got one, one health left. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ill with rabies. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool that that happened immediately after healing up. So Daniel hunted. My pack of wolves smelled the blood. And I'm dead. <laughs> He wondered what happened to old Caesar. Ah, dang. <laughs> Game over! Thank you for that. Alright. The alien. Unusual. Okay, they set off into the forest. Okay, what, what does this do, though? Oh, the bullet split. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how useful this is in practice. I mean, I hope very, because... Okay, yeah, so this, this actually does seem pretty good. To escape the bandits, they accidentally rode into a cave. Okay, I've never seen this one before. Oh, gosh! They found their way out of the cave and went to look for wild berries. Man, I'm learning all kinds of things about this game today. A bear wanted the berries. Okay, so this gun should actually... Well, not this one, but the other... The main gun for this wagon should actually be really good here. I 
kind of like being able to destroy those. There's no real point to it, but oh crap! Stupid <laughs> Oh, this game is wonderful. Okay, this isn't quite working the way I thought it would, but it is at least kind of working. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Oh crap! So I absolutely have to hit on that. In the first two shots of when they come on screen, or else I will get hit. Fur Trader. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, my main weapon uh, vaporizes things. So I don't have a whole ton to trade. Stupid boulders. Gunshots. Hmm. This is probably going to end badly, but let's give it a try. Okay, so we gotta do the, the little shooting gallery mini game. Okay, come on. No bandits yet. Okay. Gosh, how am I missing the civilians? Oh, I got away! Oh, you hit me! No! <laughs> okay, so the wagon wheels have fallen off. I i mean, there aren't wheels, but that's fine. <laughs> Jim went to fetch the wheels, okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! So Frank went to fetch the wheels. Okay. dead. That killed everyone. The Coyotes ate Frank and the wagon wheel. <laughs> I mean, I do like the UFO. It's actually pretty fun to play with. Wow, I'm still missing a lot of things. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Skunks with that. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. gun is very effective in some situations. Also, it appears to be dealing five hits. The laser cannon is jammed. Oh boy. So what the what the jam effect does is it changes the aim a little bit and it also changes the firing rate to be slightly randomized. Side. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, Julia's dead. Everyone cheered up. They fixed. 
fix the cannon jam. Reach to river crossing. I am bored of fording it, so we will jump. No bees, no bees, no bees. Oh, bears. So I can, I think I can one shot all, almost all of these. Oh wow, that was some good power up dropping. Uh, okay, and Great Plains with Pew Pew Laser. Six furs. A more powerful laser cannon. Oh man! Seriously? Alright, I'm gonna ignore the event this time because as nice as a hundred furs would be, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them. A wagon axle broke. The wagon was stuck. There are not wheels and there are not axles, but that's fine. Catherine left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post, miles away. Coyotes hounded her. Man, that spreader effect is really useful. It was a long journey. all of her money, then she had to travel back. Oh, man. The one shot on the screen at a time thing is really tricky. Okay, we reached the wagon after repairing... Okay, we're at the second river, too deep to ford. Into the piranha water we go! I'm rather more deadly than the piranhas, so... Unfortunately... There's quite a lot of them! Holy crap! This gun is a little bit on the slow side. The party's journey ended there in a swarm of blood and fish. sick of not being able to afford upgrades, and I'm also sick of starting with two health. Yeah, I, look, shut up. <laughs> In my defense, I've gotten through that area about four times already tonight, with no trouble at all. That is the first time that I did it with that gun. Um, which fires a lot more slow. Oh. Oh, well, that's interesting. I didn't... Apparently this gun can just drop now. This is the, the main firearm for the glitch wagon. Some of the bandits could actually aim. Ah! Well, now so can I. So there. 
he says, immediately missing his next shot. Edible mushrooms. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we want. Oh, no. She's only got one health. Oh, no. That is not good. So I have to no-hit this section, basically. Inner demons! Inner demons! Oh, crap. She was conquered by her inner demons. <laughs> That's really hard on one health. <laughs> Oof. Let's jump, because that'll save me some time with the boulders. Whee! Bears. Uh, I'm not happy about that. Uh oh. <laughs> Entered into the Great Plains. Well, I could come in here with a machine gun if I'd killed that guy slightly slower. The oxen feasted. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that changes my speed. Herd of buffalo. The buffalo are normal this time. So far. There's no fire this time, please. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. This is by far the best weapon for this area. So if you're trapped, I've noticed that you can only really move up. Because if you're. <laughs> the number of buffalo was absurd, you're telling me. Um, because. And the, the, so the reason for that is that the bullet comes out of a little ways above the center. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Shotgun. Yes. So when you are all the way at the bottom, sometimes it is possible for the buffalo uh, and other critters. Oh. Oh. A fur trader. And now we have 172 furs, so we can actually afford healing. <laughs> Rip frames, yeah. Oh jeez, it is really doing quite badly, as a matter of fact. Let me check on that while we're at a relatively safe spot. Why are the frames dropping? Nothing weird is happening. Wait, something weird is happening. What is this? What are you? Oh crap, wait a minute. Okay, there actually is a reason for this. Uh, okay. Hold on, I gotta go fix this. I'm going to be right back.
All right. And we are back. We're also done trading. All the recreational buffalo shooting started a prairie fire. Well, that isn't ideal. Game, why would you place a power up inside of a hazard? The smoke was suffocating, so they hurried to escape the fire. Oh, crap. Uh, alright. Wait, what did I hit? Wasn't a fire there. A woman in a red dress walking alone. Frank left the wagon to see if she needed help. Hello? Some random woman. What is this event? They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. So let's go under, because we have a gun that fires fast enough and we can now actually get through this area. Freaked out and swam too fast. Oh crap. Oh no. Okay, I haven't gotten this event before, so I'm not sure if I'll make it through, but I will give it my best. They landed on a small island to catch their breath. I haven't seen this before either. Jason noticed some very large eggs sitting on the beach. Oh no. I think I see where this is going. Unfortunately, the pterodactyls that laid the eggs were proportionally large and were quite possessive of the eggs. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, don't kill me! Don't kill me! They're very large. It seems the island has an isolated ecosystem in which I dinosaurs never went extinct. Oh, crud. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Velociraptor ate Jason alive. Ah! Oh. That must be how you get the dinosaur. Uh, okay. Alright. Food supplies were dwindling, so Frank hunted. That's not a great gun for this. That means it's wolves next, and that has killed me literally every single time. everybody let's go adventure let's go do it hmm. I don't know I like a bunch of these but like they just having all of the weird quirks to their weapons just makes them really hard for certain things at least black fever dead not dead but almost dead Coming clearing. See if I can't get back into shape. Posse of bandits interrupted the hunt.
machine gun bandwagon. Eesh. Performing rather poorly. Ruth recovered from black fever. Oh, you get your health back for that. Neat. Up the wagon to look for wild berries. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The noise in the trees, the bears want the berries. A swarm of rabid squirrels heard the cry. <laughs> I actually really like that event. <laughs> it's super dumb. So, I will probably play this for another, like, 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, maybe like one or two more runs after this one. Uh, and then, I think I would like to switch over to a game titled Shape of the World, which I have not tried yet, and which may or may not capture well on stream. If it doesn't, then we will, of course, be not playing it. Um, no boulders? Okay. Uh, it is, from what I understand, a fairly short exploration game we could probably play all the way through between today and tomorrow, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not. Don't know much about it. Ow. Henry was trampled to death by a buffalo. How dare. I came across a fur trader. Uh, trade them a sword to replace their pistol? Absolutely, yes. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. We're just gonna try and not shoot for a little while. Because we only have limited ammo and the only other thing we have is a sword. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, almost. Okay. Okay, so I, I think you get a wagon from doing something with the sword. I don't know what we have to do with it. A flower for Ruth. He came back to give the flower to Ruth. There you go. Oh, I love you too, Ruth replied. The two went into the wagon to relax. And he is full. Needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. Oh, good. Zombies. Crap. It was a zombie. is way easier sort of 
I just, I'm worried about not having a gun. Oh no. Oh, this is terrifying. Jellyfish, okay. Oh my gosh, come on, I need another gun. Oh no. Oh, the oxen got freaked out and swam too fast. Oh, that's just what I need. is that I can get away from the... Oh crap! Dinosaurs with the sword. Oh no. Oh, this is very frightening. Giant crabs. Okay, so it's not dinosaurs, it's giant crabs this time. Oh, like really a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> the dinosaurs <laughs> okay so the sword might be okay for the oh that's not what I wanted um, the wolves might actually be reasonably killable with the sword some of the llamas spat at the wagon what hey Stop spitting when the wolves arrived. Oh, great. Oh, man. Oh, Ruth died in a wolf attack. Okay. Oh, no. This was a bad idea. I shouldn't have grabbed that. Oh, I really shouldn't have grabbed that. Howling good time. Okay. 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 I think I survived. Am I good? Are we good? Am I alive? Supplies in exchange for animal hides. So definitely healing. A nearby mountain was an active volcano. <laughs> Rush to avoid the approaching lava. What? What's this now? Wolves burning alive. <laughs> oh crap! Oh no! 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 Volcanic bombs! Oh my gosh! Okay, this isn't so bad. At the moment. The lava got close. Oh crap! Really? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Drove off a cliff. Oh, oh good. Oh good. Eagles! Eagles now! Oh no, it's eagles! Oh no! <laughs> Is the bazooka or the sword better here? Oh no! An eagle killed Christopher! Wow. Wow, alright. That is by far the furthest I've ever gotten in that game. So that went well. Um, wow. Alright, we might come back to that tomorrow. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be done with this for now. Um, let's take a look and see if we can get Shape of the World to work without too many frame drops. Let's see if I can even find the thing in my Steam library. And we may need to twiddle around with the, um, the video settings in order to get it into the right resolution to look halfway decent. <coughs> wow, that was... That was quite a run. Right. 
it's loading, maybe. Per maybe haps. is loading in full screen exactly as it normally should, just that's not quite what we want right now. Hello, game, hello. Uh, I guess while that's loading I'll change my metadata. some sound happening. Okay, settings. Let's bring that way back down. 1280 by 800. Window. Assume the rest of this is fine. We will be turning motion blur way the heck down. Alright. Are you capturing the window? Hard to tell. Looks like it doesn't see it. <clears throat> Different capture tool. Different capture tool, quickly. Instant massive lag. Cool. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we have lag, ladies and gentlemen. Houston, we have lag. All right, okay, we've got some kind of particle effect. That's cool. We do. Can I move? Ooh, I can move. I can look. I have mouse look. Okay. Okay. Should I be walking towards this stuff? Let's walk towards this whatever it is. Let's go where the wind seems to be facing. It's very, very white. What are these? Are these like footprints or something? Not my footprints, clearly, because I am a hovering camera. I can jump. I don't seem to be able to crouch. Oh, little critters. What the frick are these? Hello, friends. Oh, I can sort of, like, tease at them by clicking, I guess. Piff paff. Touched it and then I went flying forwards. But, oh my! Up click to interact. Yeah, I, I worked that out. Thank you. turned into a drum now, I guess? There's a pointer over there. I think that's maybe where I'm headed? Question mark? Any 
ones turn red when I touch them. Okay. It's a little bit like, um, it's a little bit like Proteus, actually. But, like, really not like Proteus. Okay, so now I'm up on this ridge. What do I do up here? Well, there's more of those, so I can maybe make a bridge. It goes from here, across the way. Also, these are the default settings for, um, for like, field of view and, and render distance, so I can only assume that this is somehow part of the game. That you can't see anything. Okay, so do I just need to click on them once and then they go all the way up? Yeah, looks good. Oh, we have a tree now. Where did you come, tree friend? Where did you come from? I can talk. I talk so good today. Is that the shadow of the tree? There's like pieces of the tree that are hovering now. Or maybe like it's just the shadow or just the leaves. I don't quite get what's going on here, but I, I think I like it. Hmm, okay, so that's the thing from the logo. This is what the game's logo looks like, or the, the game's icon, rather. Okay, I touched the thing, and now I am here instead, up there. Okay, and now there are things that have appeared. This is good. This is progress. I assume. And I can make the trees disappear by shooting myself through them. I, I don't really get why it moves you that way. That's kind of confusing. But I do like that animation of them, like, springing up out of the ground. Like, folding. I think that's very cool. So wait, did that require two clicks? Hmm. Oh, little floor jellyfish guys. Hello, friend. Are we friends? I assume we are friends. Okay, what are these? Oh, okay. Do I... that bad? I, I mean, they're pointy, so I feel like it's bad. Oh, that's a health bar. I see. So I want to avoid those because when they strike me, my health bar shrinks, but it shrinks kind of upward. And these guys are teleporting away or something, and now there's leaves. This is a really interesting aesthetic. If I had to put a name to it, and this absolutely tells you where my brain is at lately, I would call it Avara Punk. Because <laughs> that's the kind of nerd I am. Who's this? Can I touch this? Yeah, I can touch that. If I poke these. Ah, I get a bridge that goes around in a circle. Really big circle. Okay. Alright. I wonder if there's any story to this, or if it's just pure exploration. That's our archway to get out. Is this is this where I want to be? Is this good? Is this not good? What is all of that crap down there? Is that scary? Is that death? It sort of looks like lava, but it also looks like it might just be water. Or not even that, just some kind of fluid that is neither lava nor water nor anything. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little pop-up look kind of thing. 
Okay, but what do I do from up here? Is there is there a benefit to being up on this ledge? Just seeing where I'm go okay. Ah. So I can fall without damage. That's good to know. So that would mean that I probably want to head over this direction. Oh, hello lag. Some weird little guys. Some grass and the water. It's like clouds, I guess. Oh, there's one of these little jellyfish dudes. Can I get in the water? Is that okay? Oh, worm buddies. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm down with this. Those look a little dodgy. Like they might explode. Or pop or something. What do they do? So they just get bigger, I guess. I need them to do that. I can sort of climb them by clicking a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm game. I'm game. Let's, let's see where we're headed with this. It's kind of like a... You know, like Bastion's terrain mechanic turned upside down. Oh my, it's taking me a little bit lower under the water than I intended to go. Hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to go up there, but I, I don't really have a basis for why. Is there one of the giant arrow things? Is that the sun? Is the sun just like a tiny triangle? I That's actually kind of cool. It was a very tactile sort of game. It'd be really cool in VR, although I think that the movement would be very hard to get right. Oh, maybe over here, because there's like an arch. Oh my, that is a very tall tree. Hello there, tall tree fellow. And it's gone. Oh. I can't tell whether this movement is the wildlife or the terrain. <laughs> it does feel very alive, which, if that's what they were going for, then they nailed it. Huh. This is really cool, actually. I, I, I like this. a little bit weird that you just sort of glide like this, but on the other hand, I'm not sure if conventional like walk animations would have done any better. You know what else it reminds me of is, uh, is Nysance, which had a very similar just like explore a flat textured world sort of feel to it. Um, So it wanted me to be able to climb up that, but only there? Ooh, there's one. I just saw it. Ah, there you are. Sneaky. It's so weird how the giant trees just vanish like that. Huh. I wonder if that has any, like, lasting effect, or if it does anything meaningful, or if it's just an aesthetic thing. It's really hard to tell whether what I'm doing... Oh. I seem to be stuck inside of some geometry. <laughs> Crap. Can you get me out, game, please? Uh... <laughs> Well, okay, so it's not a perfect game. I 
Let's start the shore over again, I guess. Yeah. Let's try this again. And this time I suppose I'll take the left archway because I took the right uh, the right arch the last time and those things seem to hurt you. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Is this a thing I can actually do? Or is it just water all the way out? more spiky things. Weird little bubble critter friends, I guess. Hmm. Alright. There is an arch right here. There we go. Oh, and then this just jumps us straight over to here. Okay. I gotcha. Oh, maybe I didn't get all of these. I only got three of them the last time. Maybe they do something if they're all activated at once. Ah ha ha ha, that's what I miss. That's the super obvious thing I was supposed to do. Now I understand why that was not apparently working. Woo! Oh, that's super pretty. I really like how distinct this aesthetic is. Oh, these are nice colors as well. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, and then is this the one with the spiral stairs? Yeah, it looks like it. Is that ticking noise? Okay, so yeah, this is where we were before. Is that where we came in, or where we're supposed to go? Hmm. Wow, apparently you can really move going across that thing. <laughs> oh! Okay, so that's the way back and forth between these two areas. And, uh, that mountain over there seems to be having some kind of dance party. I should join! Woo! Oh, I spooked the jellyfish buddies by running too fast. It looks like there's some glowing stuff out here. It's just those spiky things back again. Oh, this is the same area, but all the colors are different, and now there's trees. Huh. Huh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's that's really interesting, actually. Okay. So we actually were already here, but it looked different the last time because we hadn't gone through as many uh, archways. What's that? What are you, friend? So now there's more of these things. Huh. Well, this is super cool. So the more stuff you interact with, the more the world grows, or, or the more, um, the more stuff begins to exist in it. And apparently when in the water, you can move at a pretty good clip. And I 
I think this is the last one. Yep. Yeah, that sounded right. Where's the... Where's the stairwell that we just got? Huh. Alright, so now we've got a return path that doesn't require swimming. Oh, this is so cool. So, okay, so that's the one that goes up to there. Oh, this is so neat. All right, all right, okay. So how do we get onto the one that we just created? That's back over here and it starts in the water, so off we go. There are still a couple of those spiky things sitting right there, so I wanna be careful of those. They seem to be detrimental to come into contact with. And it is a bit laggy on my side as well, so that's not... I don't think that's a problem with the stream or the encoder or anything, it's just the game itself is running a little slowly. flying around. Alright, where am I supposed to go? This way over here on the left, maybe? And we'll take a look at the one in the middle if this one's too hard to get to. So it looks like there's a pretty smooth path up here, so we should be able to get there easily enough. Hello, worm friends. Oh, what is that? Is that just this tree's leaves being crazy and weird? Oh, he's a large fellow. Oh, he's an angry fellow. No, no, stop. I don't, I don't want to get hit. And now there are squids. Okay. Okay. I am afeard. I am afeard of the chonker. That chungus is very big. There is a chungus among us. I thought it was just a squid buddy, but no. Okay, got more of these pillars. Let's touch them. Chungus is still down there. I'm nervous about him. The, the chonk. I am a fear to the chonk. Alright, so there's, there's this one, this one, and then the rest are down there in the water. So I guess we'll go down and do that. Okay. That should be fine. I don't see any more chonkers down here. Neither chonkers nor chunguses. Must be precise about our terminology. Okay, and then this lets us get all the way up there. So let's run around to the back and hop on the new pathway. Oh, this is so cool. This low contrast theming is really interesting because you can you can only sort of make out some of the details in the in the background. Oh, there's two big guys up here. Hello. Hello, friends. Friends? 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 Please don't run into me, friends. 
The last time one of you ran into me, it was pain. And I do not want the pain. We do have the weird space squid, space invader guys floating around. Kind of enjoy them. Oh! Oh, you're very close now. Hello. Oh, no. Well, I guess now I'm down here. Oh, with another one. Oh, no. I don't think they're all that damaging, but I don't want to deal with that. They're too chonky, five me. I do like their little squid tentacle cilia down there, though. Alright, let's hop down here and go through this gateway. Whoa. Uh, what? Where'd it go? Was that was that right? Did I did I do good? Uh, implicit story, implicit world building. Oh, I dig it. I really dig it. It is a little bit walking simulatory, but there's enough stuff to interact with and like actually do that it's still engaging, which I like. I'm liking that very much. Alright. Oh, there's a large fellow. Run from large. Oh. Did this just start out of nowhere? Kinda looks like it did. Is this leading me towards that one on the right? Or where are we going? It looks like it's headed towards that archway on the right. Yeah. Yeah, that looks an awful lot like progress. Right? Seems like a good thing. Oh, it's so cool! Alright, so we should be able to get up here relatively easily, and there's the gateway. Now everything is purple. We have these. It seems like the more of these that we go through, the more stuff appears. So like now we have another type of critter, we have more pillars to interact with, and that gives us another one of these, these walkways, which then gives us access to a new area. So basically we keep crossing through the same space again and again and again, but we grow it each time that we do. So every time that we come back to this, this same area that we've been in the whole time, it turns into something new and, and we get more, like a change in the aesthetic, we get more stuff, more wildlife. A little more of these guys, which makes me nervous. I don't like being shoved, you see. Ah, there it is. The nice ambient music, I like that. And clicking on stuff does make you move slightly faster, so I'm incentivized to interact with everything. So that's a neat little emergent piece of design. Now how do I get up this? I guess I just click on trees and fly. Seems easy enough. Oh, but something just injured me, maybe. Maybe? Oh. It's those weird egg things. Ah! Egg things! Wait. Why do I have a lemon? It's 
seed. Okay. Alright, well let's go through here before we worry about what that does. Okay, so what is the seed for? Is this, is this anything? Does this do anything for me? I mean, I'm sure it does, but... It's a four. Uh, here's some pillars. I love those little flying things, they look so cool. Oh, so this just creates these trees, wherever I happen to be. Oh, wow. Okay. That was probably a mistake to do right here, because now I can't see where I'm going, but... On the other hand, super cool. Well, I want to go down there and interact with those, but then I'd have to come back up and find the beginning of this trail again. Oh, little guy. Oh, it's the first time we've seen one of these appear straight away. That's neat. All right, where are we going next? I'm super excited about this. This is really cool. the seeds to protect myself? That's, that's my big question right now. Can I... Okay, so he doesn't seem to care about getting hit with seeds. And all those trees that I grew are still in the way. So that's fine. Alright, now what? Okay, we're back to this area now. Whoa, yo! Hey, buddy. Hey, space whale. Space whale friend. Oh, these are a cool color now. Oh, that looks lovely. have anything to do with my health? Looks like my health goes up a little bit when I plant trees. Which is itself a really interesting mechanic. Huh. Oh, this is so interesting. I gotta grab. And that should reveal the next pathway. Oh, those look so cool! Uh, can I get out of the water, please? Thank you. Doink. Okay, where's the path? Ah, there's the path. Cool. I am eager to see the next thing that this throws at me. Oh, there's the space whale. Hi, friend! Hi, space whale buddy. You are super cool. Oh, what is this? You know, at first I thought that was the moon, but I think that's only like 10 feet above me. Yeah, that's, that's only just, like, right there. Oh, my. Don't fall off the thing, please. Huh. 
So I guess I'll walk down this way. Maybe? Is this where I want to be? I can't tell. Oh, little hover blobs. I like little cloud people. The, the sky is still... The sun or the moon or whatever is still just a flying triangle in space. Oh, this is a this is a really cool experience, honestly. Okay, so I can't get up that, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so there's like a waterfall. Sorry. Just trying to fix my keyboard here. There's like a waterfall over there. There's three gateways. We can only see two of them from here. I meant to descend down and then go over to the side where all of that business is. Gonna come through this valley, I guess. Huh. This is very interesting. I don't quite know what to make of some of this, but I... I'm very pleased by it. I think it looks very nice. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think I just kicked that little guy into space. Oh! seem to be things that hurt. And the seeds don't appear to do anything to them. Was it, like, morning now, I guess? Hmm. Alright, here's the next one. Appear to be flying. Okay, where are we going? Where are we headed? Wait, the seed changed. Am I making something different now? Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here or not. where I'm supposed to be. Oh, yeah, I did. I grabbed a different kind of seed at some point. Uh, okay, let's see. How do we get up this cliff? There's this path around here. Yeah, this looks right. Take the tree. I clicked the tree, you guys, and now I am in space. Okay. So here's where we are headed. And there is the weird logo. There's a glowy thing out there. Pillars are glowing, and there's also a glowy thing above the pillars. 
glowy thing is gone. There are different glowy things up there now. Where are we going? Being gently set down, I think. to these pillars. All right. Yeah, sure. Oop, missed one. Oh, there we go. Tally-ho! So that puts us in proximity to the next one. This game is really lovely. Well, there are spiky fellows. He disappeared. Ooh, that's pretty. still on the same second chapter. Head in the clouds. <laughs> nice. It's a clever achievement name. Alright. Okay, one more. I don't know how audible it is, but the music for this is very nice. It's very, very pleasing. way. Way up into the sky. Huh. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is really a beautiful game. I have no idea what it's about, but it looks gorgeous. I'm sure that it would look better playing it without also trying to stream it, because right now it's very laggy, and the reason for that is that my CPU has been at 100% for pretty much the whole time we've been playing, but that's okay. Zoom! Oh, no flying this time, I guess. But this is a new object. I think. It might just be one of those rocks, but it sort of looks different. Adventurer. Is that because I just murdered a, a small animal? Oh no, it's just normal pillar rock thing. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that water is straight out of Tron, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, it does look a lot like the, the Energy River in that movie. Is that all of them? There's only four, and there are usually five. Ah, there you are, hiding in the back there. Creatures. I love those. They're so cool looking. I feel like some of this might be procedurally generated. Whoa. Oh my. I am flying towards the giant space donut. Yeah, yeah. Now, most walking simulators really don't do it for me, but this is good. It's like a gong or something. What am I supposed to be doing with this? I mean, I'm, I'm hitting it. It's making noises. I can hit it from a really, really far distance. And it seems to be attracting these critters. What else do I do? 
Is this why I'm here? Is to get all these guys to come around me? Yeah, yeah, like, there's not a lot of game to this game, but, like, they nailed the aesthetic design. The sound design is great, the visual design is great, the concept is really interesting. And a lot of the, like, I would never call these puzzles, but the puzzles are satisfying. Like, you don't really have to do much to complete them, but it's a matter of traveling from point A to point B, and then when you get there, oh my, long distance bong. Um... They're up there. Oh my. Oh my. Um, yeah, no, they, whoever made this really, really, really knew what they wanted to make. And they really, really made that game. The, the thing that they wanted to create is exactly what's here. I get the sense. Like, obviously, I, I, I'm not in their head. I don't know what they're thinking when they decided to make this. Ooh, there's a, there's an exit over there. Um, But it's just, like, really, really pretty. And you're not going to come up with this by accident, are you? Like, this is a very intentional sort of design. Little prickly fellows. I don't know what happens if that bar runs out. I assume you die, but it's not actually given me anything to indicate that that would happen. Oh, no. contemplative sort of a game, which I'm all for. Oh. Uh, where am I going now? I'm just walking along here now, I guess? seems sort of weird that it would be as linear as it is. Like, it seems like the type of game that would be very free-roaming, but then you don't actually free-roam in it. I don't know. I don't think that's a bad thing, necessarily. It's just unintuitive. Oh, and now I'm back all the way down to the bottom. Okay. That was unintended. Let's try that again. Doing. These things make such a strange sound. Ah, okay, this is what we missed the first time. Ah, here we go. Alright, this is where we're supposed to be. That's good. Ooh, rain effects now. Okay. Huh. Wasn't expecting weather. I mean, there's really been nothing to indicate that there wouldn't be weather, but... Well, that's... that music's nice. This is such a cool little thing. Okay, how do we get over there? Let's go across this, I guess. It's it's interesting because it's extremely free roaming, but like there's always somewhere you're supposed to be. Uh, hello, pointy friends. Your pointies kind of concern me, but apparently I can just make them go away. Alright, now what? Okay, another set of 
pillars. These weird little Totoro guys walking around. Some more clickety clack. Ooh, who are you, buddy? Well, that looks neat. I think the wildlife kind of feed on trees the same way that the player does. So, like, you, you can occasionally see them like tapping against a tree. It makes the ding noise, and the tree disappears. It's not the first time that I've noticed that, but it's the first time that I've seen it, like, close up. Okay, where are we going now? I'm gonna guess over there, because it's literally the first thing I saw. These trees are quite large. Hmm, one of those bubble things. Wait. Well, you're a critter. out for the big critters. Oh, that's different. That one looks very different than the others. I wonder what that means. Oh, but only from the back. Huh. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. Uh, where's the thing? It's gonna be way down there. Uh, oh boy. Oh, 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 don't overshoot. Okay. There's like a tree bridge. This is some serious aesthetic. Uh, oh, I get how this works. Okay. So you kind of use these to chuck yourself around the... Let's go this way. Woo! Oh, this is so cool. Absolutely lovely as well. Not that I hadn't mentioned that before. Let's give it a second to catch up. That blob was a critter. Like, walking sim simulators in general are kind of hit and miss for me. So, for example, Dear Esther, despite being super praised and winning a couple of awards, I hated. I was so bored by that game. Um, I'm trying to think what the other big one was around that time, because there was one that I liked and, and one that I didn't, uh, in addition to Dear Esther. Um, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture was just, like, really stupid. Um... That one, that one, I couldn't even... Like, I watched a couple of minutes of a video of it and got bored. So, like, not even gonna give that one the time of day, but... There have been a couple that are okay. Huh. Okay. So, I touched the rock, and now it's... 
Um, now there's water. I guess I can take a shower? I <laughs> sure. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to go this way, because I came in from the other side. Ooh, cave stuff now. Oh, and now I can make the rocks disappear. Well, some of them. What's this? Oh, those are attacky things. Oh, but there's one of these down here. Oh, and I can make this kind of plant now. Or, no, those are rocks. Maybe it's supposed to be coral? This is really interesting. Swimming around with like the, the motion assist from those gong things. assumption that that's what that bar even is. Creator. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting achievements for spawning a certain number of objects. Which makes sense, given what I understand the theme of this game to be. Hello, pointy buddy. Squish friend. Alright. What's this now? Bing. Squish buddy. Okay, so I guess we need more water? A lot of water. Ah! puzzles that don't suck. Ah ha ha. Well, now where are we headed? Where do we go next? Ah, we can go up. Possibly very up. Let's see, where, where even was that thing? I'm not even sure what I just found. Gongs. Okay, so we'll dump out rock seeds, I guess. Until my health is back. I mean, I'm making a, a tremendous assumption about this game that you can even be killed that it even has that type of game element to it. Like, I, I found what I think is a health bar. And which my gaming experience tells me is probably a health bar. But I've also seen no indication in this game so far that... Oops. That I should treat it as though it is a game, which is really fascinating. Can I get out of here, please? Ah, is this where I'm meant to be? Is this where I'm meant to be? I don't know. What are these? Oh, these are ouch things. Oh, that's changed my, my seed type. I mean, heck, for all I know, that could be like some kind of creativity meter. This is glowing. Why is this area glowing? Is this where I'm supposed to be? I don't know, 
that seems kind of weird. Right, that's just depth fog. All right, let's see if we can get to that exit that we see over there. What interests me the most, I think, about this game is that I I can't really tell what it's supposed to be, which I love. That I that I don't immediately see sort of the, the intent. There's, that the game is trusting me enough to figure it out on my own instead of telling. Which is something that I don't I haven't really noticed in many games lately. Exit. Pew! Okay, that's an explodey friend. Okay, so it looks like we're combining effects now. Looks like some of these are the pillars and some of these are the spouts. So that did whatever it does. And I'm guessing I go this way because that's where the next gong thing was. Oh, hey, buddy. Flying crab. Oh, he is maybe dead. look promising. Okay, so these are different types of coral. Although I can't seem to plant this style. Oh, maybe I can. the game world anymore. Uh, whoops. So, alright, so there are a couple collision bugs, from the look of it. Oh well, we're almost done. <laughs> Lol. sitting outside the universe. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to do that whole underground, underwater thing again. Ah. Uh, oh well. I don't think it should take too long to get us back where we were. It does suggest we were, like, right at the end of it, though. Bloop, bloop. hit me and see if that actually does anything. And I'm going to deliberately not create anything. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I'm pretty much basically, basically at the end of this game. Already. It's not long, which I think is good. I think, I think like playing this for hours and hours and hours would get real samey and wouldn't really give much new experience which I would readily say seems to be the point. So I, I commend the devs on, 
their restraint, not trying to make this thing huge and unending. And kind of, uh, kind of being happy with the right length of game for the concept that they created. Something that I appreciate, just generally. Come on, gong me to the surface. It's really interesting the way that the water is opaque from above. the surface, but I'm not sure where. Ah, here we go. Maybe. Alright. Do I come around this side? No, nope, I don't come around that side. <laughs> that side is water. Just about run out of whatever the bar is. So I may be about to die, or something else might happen instead. I genuinely have no idea. And we're back here again. Okay, come on. Come on. Back up to the surface. This way, which appears to be correct. Hello, crab flying, weird whatever you are. Goodbye. We'll kick your shell. This is not the right way. Where am I going? Ah, suspicious glowing things. Let's go follow them. Oh, that's the area that you can't get to from the other side, I see. Launch upward with the help of an urchin. Well, if you insist. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look like where I want to be. Um, it does look like it's on the way to somewhere I might want to be. Do I just have to gong all of the gongs? Is that what I'm trying to do? How does one gong the gongs? Satisfactorily. Doing. Maybe I'll just kick a crab shell into space. That's fine. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yes, 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 yes. This looks right. Squish buddy. Okay, no accidentally escaping the world boundaries this time, please. This area where we activate two things on the ground and three things up top. And then whatever happens, happens, and hopefully this time we don't fall foul of any collision bugs. And it looks like that's the way I want to go. that I think might have been done a little bit better in this area especially is um, is defining these these ceiling areas a little bit better 
it's sort of hard to tell where you are and what's going on just because of all the... Okay, let's find out what this means. Nothing happened when it emptied out. Maybe it's progress. You have to plant a certain number of them in order for that to, uh, for that counter to fill up. So it's not a health bar. I'm fairly certain of that. Don't really know what it is, though. Oh, wait a minute. Let's come up here. This is not an area that I went to before. Seems like this is where we're supposed to go. Hey, there we go. That's the one we wanted. Shoom. One. Two. Three. Four. And five weird water spigots. stairwell is connecting to where we already are. And I might be going backwards, but I might be exactly where I want to be. Awesome. Oh, we're outside and it's raining again. Oh, that looks cool. That looks very cool. So my guess is that this is the second to last chapter that we've just entered. Oh, and we grow trees again. A gong? Now what? Where am I landing? Okay. Okay, I guess we'll go up here then. Aha! Uh -huh. And there's another one there, and another one there. Alright. We can go for that one. It's, it's very helpful that they included these as like a method of fast travel, basically. That's, that's very useful. So like, you can do the full, like, slow-paced walking simulator route through this, or you can just space gong yourself up the side of a mountain, if you prefer. Hmm. I guess let's use space jump. Oh. I did not space jump into space as I had planned. I space jumped into the ground. Let's try it this way. So I can get up on this path. Nice, okay. All right, there's that. Oh, this is different. Hello, space whale. These shapes do not match the other shapes. What does that mean? or something, but they're so bright that you can't tell what texture they have. Or shape, I guess I should say. It's a fascinating design choice. They've got more complex models, but the lighting engine is such that you literally can't see them. Fascinating. Oh, no. That's not the right way. Wait, is that the right way? Might be the right way. Giant space gong says so. Huh. Whoa! Oh, okay, we are actually in space this time. I want 
to click on that, but I'm really nervous that it's just going to shoot me way past where I want to be. Oh, well, oh no, it is right here, yeah. This is so weird, why is it like this from the back? Oh, you can't walk through it from behind. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. One, two, three, and four. I hear clicky. Ah, there it is. And then you suddenly run really, really fast on top of this thing. So yeah, we're getting close to the end. I think. We're like one and a half areas out, I think, based on based on the chapter chart. Okay. <laughs> Nearly overshot again. Let's get down here. Nice. And here's the portal. Oh man, everything just looks so cool in this game. It just looks so pretty. The fact that they have this many color schemes that all look pretty good together, it, that's pretty impressive, honestly. In and of itself. I mean, I'm tempted to say something like you could put any set of colors together in this graphics engine and have it still look good, but I know that not to be true. It's really interesting to see how they played with contrast, especially. It's like there's all the different colors, sure, but... Also, like they very carefully selected which colors would contrast and which ones wouldn't. So like in this case we've got certain certain like non-foreground objects that have all of the contrast and then the actual ground and the sky you can barely tell apart. The trunks of the trees and stuff like that. Oh it is, it is a face. Oh that's weird, it's a face. Why is it a face? That feels really significant, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> They're heads. Why are they all heads? It's so strange. <laughs> it's so laggy. That's not the game's fault. That's my old crappy computer's fault. <laughs> Mountain Explorer. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. I like it. What is it? Have we secretly been in Tron the entire time? Is that what's happening? Is it some kind of like safety net or a kill zone that you gotta watch out for? Oh, this is weird and I love it. Explorer. Seed finder. Does that mean I got all the seeds, or are there more? Can't tell. Ah, there's our there's our next gateway. Let's clear up the top there. everywhere. Hmm. Well, this seems right. That's a very pretty color. And a very pretty contrast with the sky as well. Hmm. 
huh. Do these seeds not do anything? Or, I guess they do something, but do they grow anything? seem to do that. Alright, we've summited the mountain. There is a small puddle up here. More stones, okay. And these are just the regular stones, not the weird face things. There are quite a lot of them, though. seven of them up here. I wonder what the significance of all of this is. Ah, that's maybe a celestial body? No, that was just a spot. There's another one. What do those mean? What are those? Clickety-clack? All right, clickety-clack. Up the stairs we go! I love how it just like has that slight ripple ahead of wherever you're walking. Oh my. Well, what is happening right now? What is this? That was all floor a minute ago. Holy crap. Okay. So some kind of large structure has built itself now. What happens if we go up to the top? Oh, there's more of it. There goes the pathway. Oh, I see! There's a portal way up at the top. This mountain is like building itself up for us to get to it. Oh, that's cool. This is really cool. I like this game. This is a good game. It's honestly not a game I'm probably going to come back to after we're done tonight. Uh, well, assuming that we actually reach the end. Um, but it is a game I'm very impressed with. And very pleased by. Like, it's just very lovely. I will probably be looking at screenshots of this later for inspiration for color schemes. I like how the stars kind of twinkle with the motion blur. That's really cool. Uh, it is a little strange that the stars are in front of the mountains, some of them. Alright, last piece. There it is. This is probably the last one, would be my guess. Uh, yeah, we are flying away. This is a superb game for looking at color palettes. Oh, there's a whole bunch more of these weird mountains all over the place. I wonder what the significance of that is. Is that like representative of other people's journeys through this world, or is it just like it would be cool if there were more of these? <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. The distance fog is is uh, occluding everything except for those shapes. All of the stuff that we activated on the way up. It's like that's everything that we touched on the side of the mountain. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Completionist 1. <laughs> yeah, there's more to this. I'm not sure if I want to do it, though. Probably not. There's floating credits in the sky. Am I still moving? Yeah, I'm still moving. Brent Silk. 
Heather Maxwell, a Thomas Goldberg. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty, pretty proud of that producer there, aren't you? <laughs> I think it might be bugged. Might have missed a cue for that text to leave. Hollow Tree Games, Stu Maxwell and Heather Maxwell, with Brent Silk, Shojan, Sasha Catcher, Stephen Tucker, Thomas Goldberg, Michael Linden, Aaron Lake, Dana Fortier, Michael Carter, Adam Goldberg, Camilo Almendo, all worked on this. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Good work, guys, whoever you are. <laughs> that is a truly lovely game. Not perfect from a technical standpoint. A couple of collision bugs. The producer really wants credit. But honestly, that's about all I can complain about. The rest of it was really, really fascinating. And, oh, I don't have camera control anymore. Ah, we find out what the Space Dorito wants from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it didn't wear out as welcome. It's, um... It, it feels appropriately sized for what it's trying to be. That's neat. This is like a giant stone portal in the sky, but with a vein or a tree branch or something in the middle of it, and fire. I can only assume that's some kind of interesting symbol, but I couldn't tell you what it means. And fade to white. The end. Oh, dang, that's pretty cool. So, shore val or valley, shore, cove, swamp, woodlands, rainforest, caves, mountain, and summit. Well, these are actually really good for like telling which area was which. Like that's actually, it's very simple, but it actually communicates quite a lot. Think I missed over here? No. All right. Well, uh, that was Shape of the World, and I'm pleased that I gave it a shot. I think this was a good environment for it as well. It was long enough to really explore everything that it had to say and had to share with us. Um, short enough that there wasn't, you know, too much, uh, that it didn't get boring. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can basically just take a pick a chapter, you can just go, hey, I'm going to go to the woodlands now, and I shouldn't have done that because I was going to load forever, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's just, I think they did a really good job of keeping it proportionate to its concept, and then executing on that concept as well as they could in the space that they gave it. I think that that was a great way of handling this. this this idea. Oh, these are... Oh, wow. These are all the seeds. Oh, wow. That's a lot of seeds. Okay. Alright. Well, I think we'll be done from, for now. Um, but, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for joining. And have a wonderful evening.